PS5 might have forward and backward compatibility, Warzone Season 4 will have drastic map changes and Silent Hill is coming to Dead by Daylight. We got some really exciting news to cover so welcome to Top Gaming News. My name is Given Manners and we are going to jump right into it. Sony will be revealing the future of its game on PS5 this coming Thursday on a live stream, I believe. This event is supposed to reveal the new games coming to PS5 and it's not gonna reveal how PS5 will actually look like, but it seems like PS5 will have its backward compatibility for its library of PS4 games. A Reddit user found in PlayStation's Iceland website that it mentioned PS5 will have back catalog of supported PS4 games with a system update. But then this info was completely removed from that website and has now been updated. Now this could very well mean that backward compatibility is available for the supported PS4 titles. That's the thing, supported PS4 titles. However, Sony has already mentioned that PS5 will have backwards compatibility with over 4000 games of PS4 with most of the top 100 games of PS4 ready to be played on launch in PS5. But the question arises, is it actually possible to see all those PS4 games running on launch in PS5? Because I mentioned earlier, the Iceland website stated supported PS4 titles, which we don't know what it means exactly. Well, we might have an answer to that situation because Sony has told its devs that any title that has been submitted for certification must also be compatible with PS5 beginning July 13th. That means any title after July 13th will be compatible in PS5. Now the only way these games will be compatible with PS5 is when these games will be able to run in PS5 without any issue, of course, and also provide the same features in PS5 that it will do in PS4. Now this doesn't mean that Ghost of Tsushima which is coming on July 17th will be compatible in PS5. No, because the certification that was submitted was done way back before the release date so that it gets accepted before the release date comes. So which means it isn't compatible with PS5. Now what will they announce in this new PlayStation event? Nobody knows but I for one am very excited to see what they can bring with PS5, new games, maybe new unannounced titles that nobody knows of and as we know Last of Us Part 2 is coming this very month as well as Ghost of Tsushima as I mentioned is coming on July 17th. So really excited to see what PlayStation 5 will bring to us. Something cool is happening in Dead by Daylight as they will release a new DLC named Dead by Daylight Silent Hill and is coming sometime in June. Now this DLC is not inspired by Silent Hill, they are actually recreating Silent Hill in Dead by Daylight. Such as this mid witch elementary school map which is recreated for Dead by Daylight. This will be a two floor map which will be very similar to that of the original and it seems to be having some kind of puzzles as well. I'm not so sure about that but people have been talking that there will be some kind of puzzles. Now they are also bringing the original composer of Silent Hill to help Dead by Daylight build a soundtrack for this DLC. That is cool. The survival that you can select can be changed a little. The primary option is Cheryl Mason who is the protagonist in the third game of Silent Hill. She is powerful, vessel of the dark god and in this way it provides different perks to this character. Another amazing thing is the partnership with Konami because of which all of this is possible and that has allowed them to make different cosmetics for survivors and killers which was not possible with Freddy since that character is a licensed character. Now the, now the killer here is Pyramid Head which for me is most scariest in Silent Hill anyways. And this one is not recreated, it is actually the original design. This character will have a new gameplay mechanics, and lots of power, the giant knife will be used for normal or ranged attack and it being able to go through walls and collision, that's insane. There will be so many new choices in this game that will change the way this game is being played. It is actually interesting to see Silent Hill coming to Dead by Daylight of all games even though there is no Silent Hill project happening right now. It's very similar to that of Prince of Persia because we have no Prince of Persia game coming up but Prince is being added to different games such as For Honor in variety of events. Actually these two things are very similar. What do you think about this DLC of Dead by Daylight as Silent Hill? Let me know in the comments below. Have you guys ever played any Silent Hill game? Which one is your favorite? I think the most popular one is Silent Hills 2, hands down. Call of Duty is bringing Season 4 to Warzone which will kick off this Wednesday and it is very much possible that the update size will be smaller but it looks like this time we got Captain Price himself. There hasn't been much info about Season 4 yet but it seems like there might be a drastic change in the map because the trailer kept on talking about chemical weapons. 
People have speculated that the dam might be destroyed in season 4 as the main menu before showed the trickles of water running through the dam. It would be really awesome to see a changes in the map design because I've seen that in Apex Legends. That's the only best example I can give you and it looks amazing. So I hope that actually happens. Also it has been speculated that Scrapyard might be a new map coming to the multiplayer mode of Call of Duty. Now the reason why people are speculating it is Scrapyard map because it has been discovered by the data miners in the game files. And there are many more maps which have also been discovered but we don't know if they are gonna come out yet. Speaking of Warzone, Duos is finally a thing in Warzone. Of course Duos is one of those modes that everybody always requests in any battle royale game if that game doesn't have Duos mode of course. Now with Duos mode you have to be extra careful because you have only one backup and you have to coordinate even better to win the match. It's gonna be very hectic at the very end circle because it's already hectic when you have a full squad with yourself of 3 or 4 people. So having a squad of 2, it's gonna be even more hectic. Well everybody knows that Call of Duty Black Ops 4 was not the very good game in Black Ops series but it seems like there was a campaign mode which was supposed to be made but was cancelled and has now been leaked. Now this leak came via Reddit and apparently Triarch was supposed to make a campaign but then all of that was scrapped. Now one of the major reasons is because they wanted to complete this game as quick as possible so they have to scrap the campaign mode altogether. And instead we got Blackout. And now you can see how terrible that game turned out to be. Well hopefully the next Black Ops is Cold War and hopefully they have the same graphics and a better and gripping storyline similar to that of Modern Warfare and I hope it actually does good. Let's talk about another game called Outriders which is another shooter looter game and very recently people can fly put out a video of the extended gameplay of Outriders. Now this game is made by the same studios that is People Can Fly who made Bulletstorm, one hell of a game. If you guys haven't played that game, you guys should definitely check it out. Now once you look at it, it kind of reminds me of a little bit of Gears 5, a little bit of Destiny 2 and you're moving around constantly and not being in a cover firing as in Gears 5. The enemies look like aliens, some look like hybrid and they're fast. We have different classes such as Spider-Mancer and Trickster and there is a world tier system that sounds interesting. Here's one interesting thing, if you die more you will lose your progress meter. So for example if you are at world tier 4 and you die a lot then you will be demoted to world tier 3. Now how will this defer the gameplay we don't know but it does look fun. Now this completely depends upon people whether they want to play this game because looking at uh, the like and dislike ratio of this video, not a lot of people are excited about this game. A lot of people have complained that this game is a copy of Destiny 2 in a way. One thing that is positive though is that this game won't have any microtransaction. Yay! The studio says that this game is not a game as a service style game. Now that is actually really good and as far as I can see this game does not look that bad. It looks fun and hopefully it stays that way when the game launches. What are your thoughts about Outriders? Do you think it's a game that you wanna play? Let me know in the comments below. Now speaking of games coming to Steam, some games that came to Epic Store last year are coming to Steam now and they are Detroit Become Human, Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls. These games released on Epic and I didn't get them. And now these games are coming to Steam. I'm not so sure if I will get these either. <laughs> these games are coming out on June 18th with a $20 price tag which is similar to that of Epic and somehow I thought maybe Steam could have a price lower than that of $20 because that would have set Steam a little bit apart but apparently that's not the case, unfortunately. Another cool thing though is demos. Yes, all these games will have demos for you guys to play so if you guys haven't tried it out and see whether this game will be playable in your PCs, you can try the demos out. One thing that Steam has an advantage on over Epic is achievements and all these games will have achievements. So yay to that! Well since everybody knows that Epic Store is bringing out free games on Thursday, PlayStation has joined the fun because now in PlayStation Plus, every PlayStation owner will get Call of Duty World War 2 and Star Wars Battlefront 2. Now both these games were very well received when it came out, especially Call of Duty World War 2 because the multiplayer of that game was very very good. So looks like PlayStation owners will be happy to see these games coming for free for the month of June. But with Epic giving away games for free, which will be the next one? And according to the leak that I mentioned in a previous episode of Gaming News, the next game might be Ark Survival Evolved. I'm really excited to see what PS5 will have and I'm also excited to see what new games might get announced because Summer Game Fest is also happening and this is also the month when E3 happens. So I'm excited to see what's going to happen in June and July. 
But in the meantime, you can check out our previous episodes such as Gamer Connect Community Showcase that happens every single Friday and subscribe to Gamer Connect to watch more such videos in the future. And don't forget to hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified first. Follow us on all social media platforms to get to know everything about Gamer Connect and also join Gamer Connect community on Facebook to talk about various games, join in discussions and play games with a lot and lot of gamers. My name is Gen Manus and I'll see you guys in the next video.